Denmark is one of the most energy efficient countries in the world. Since 1980, the country's economy has grown by 80%, while energy consumption has remained stable. One reason for this is the commitment from the country's corporate sector to develop and also use energy saving technologies. One such example is the Danfoss Group. With 90 factories and activities in more than 140 countries all over the world, Danfoss is a leader in energy efficiency technologies, in heating, cooling and for the controls of electric motors. While innovation of new technologies is important, Danfoss believes that the better use of existing technologies can play a key role in addressing environmental challenges. Existing technologies can actually uh, do quite a bit. Uh, often we talk about you need new products, uh, but a lot of the products are already there or the solutions are already there. And, uh, and just in our portfolio, we have a lot of different solutions that can be used today that are readily available on the market. A key area for Danfoss is heating, and one of its most prominent products is the radiator thermostat. Each thermostat can save 100 kilograms of CO2 a year. In Europe, it's estimated that there are around 500 million radiators that are still fitted with manual radiator valves. If all the valves on these were to be replaced with thermostats, 50 million tons of CO2 could be saved per year. Danfoss is also increasingly making use of its deep-rooted product knowledge within areas such as heat pumps, room controls and district heating solutions to provide expert advice to reduce heating costs. PM Danish Housing Society, here in Brondeslev, Denmark, is one company already feeling the benefits. After a period of only 11 months, PM has saved more than 38,000 US dollars on its heating bill and reduced energy consumption by more than 230 megawatt hours here in 650 flats. Ja, vi bruger den for os energitøjen til at dække hul hos os, nemlig i forhold til indreguleringen af varme anlæg i boligforeningerne. Det er jo sådan, at vi ønsker at realisere energibesparelser og give det tilbud til vores kunder og tilbyde energirådgivning. Og der er det klart, at den for os energitøm lukker det hul hos os i forhold til, at vi ikke har en kompetence til at indregulere de store anlæg i boligforeningen. Danfoss is also supplying solutions for cooling. Cooling food accounts for a large amount of energy use in an average supermarket. A 30% energy saving can be made simply by using the right components and better controls. One kilogram of standard refrigerant has a greenhouse gas effect equivalent to 3,500 to 6,000 kilograms of CO2. And CO2 emissions could be further reduced by using CO2 gas as a refrigerant in supermarkets. Faktor oplever i forbindelse med etableringen af disse nye, øh, nye CO2-anlæg, at man har en væsentlig besparelse på sit samlede CO2-anlæg. En sådan butik, som vi står i i dag, vil kunne spare faktakleden i størrelsesordenen ca. 23 tons CO2 om året. Og da det har 360 butikker og har en etableringsfrekvens på omkring 10-15% om året, så er det ved et stort antal kilo CO2, man sparer over årene. Danfoss and the supermarket continue to track and implement further improvements. Industrial production accounts for 27% of the entire energy consumption in the EU. Through a dedicated business unit, Danfoss is offering specialist consultancy to industrial customers to help them become more eco-efficient. One such customer is Danisco. Using the Danfoss project model NSAVE, Danisco is aiming to reduce its CO2 emissions by 9% during the year up to July 2010. Energy savings is very important for Danisco. Uh, you know, uh, what, what we really can do is, is to focus on on the existing technology and, and the, the existing uh, know-how and use that to an, to an optimum. We can't control how cost on energy is going up, but we can do something about savings. Working with the NISCO, Danfoss made a number of recommendations. Frequency converters have been put into operation to control the factory's cooling towers according to need. Steam, which was previously wasted, is heat recovered and used for the heating of boiler water. The energy control has been made more intelligent by improving the automated monitoring. And focused optimization of the heating system has led to energy savings of 15 to 25 percent on the heating rooms and ventilation alone. Actually, the project is uh, paying for itself. Uh, the payback time for this project will be around three years. Uh, and it is important also that uh, 
the payback time is 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 short uh, because uh, when we're talking about sustainability, we need also to state that if you can't earn your money, you're not a sustainable com company. I think there's no doubt that right now climate and CO2 emission is really high on, on the agenda everywhere. That's also why it's high on, on our agenda. I think looking ahead we're going to continue uh, the thrive into providing products and services for, for energy efficiency and, and renewables. And uh, we have a very interesting pipeline and we're directing more and more of our own product development and innovation resources in that direction. So I expect to see many more solutions allowing allowing for, for energy savings coming out in the future.